Now let's go to my explainer tonight and the situation is getting dire. Now, a few weeks ago, the government had 23 counties on high alert as far as drought is concerned. And just last week, that number went up to 29 counties in distress with 10 out of those 29 being classified as in the red zone. But let me tell you about what the Kenya Red Cross has been doing and they've been part of the relief efforts. They have classified the country into these categories, those on alert and those where there is alarm. Now the counties at alert stage include Embu, Garissa, Kitui, Makweni, Meru, Narok, Nyeri, Taita Taveta, Kwale, and Kilifi. And those that are at alarm stage, as you can see in red here, are Isiolo, Mandera, Samburu, Kajiado, Tharakanithi, Turkana, Wajir, Laikipia, Tana River, and Masabit. Now these classifications, as you can see here, are based on some indicators, including how much time and distance it takes to access food and water for the residents there. Now on average, residents travel three kilometers to access water. But by the time a county or a region is classified as being at alarm stage, the Red Cross then says the residents there are traveling up to 48 kilometers to access water. Now, residents who are living in counties at alarm stage also have minimal access to food and are not able to get food locally or from their own capacity and so need some level of support. Now, in the alarm phase, they need more support than those in the alert stage. If interventions at this stage are not helpful, then they are likely to move to what Red Cross terms emergency status, at which point the residents in those counties will need 100% food support and will be bordering on famine. Now, this time around, I know you will notice that we're seeing counties that have not typically been in drought distress, right? Counties such as Nyeri, Embu, Tharaka, Whilst the situation might not be countywide in these regions, we're seeing pockets of distress at the sub-county and the ward level. And ironically, in some of those counties, there is glut in some areas and distress in others. Now, of course, these classifications are also consistent with the weatherman's report that the areas mentioned will receive far below average rainfall this season, coupled with some warmer than average temperatures. Now, Let's break this down a little further. There are 4.35 million Kenyans who are food insecure. Now, these are people who require continuous support in terms of food. They do not have enough food as part of the effects of the drought, and they may have lost their source of food. So, for instance, it could be pastoralists who do not have milk, who don't have animals for meat, or who can't even sell their animals to buy food. For the farmers, it means their production is so low that they cannot sustain themselves at household level. Also, at this time, the Kenya Red Cross is reporting that slightly over one million pregnant women and children are acutely malnourished. This means they're not able to get their nutritional needs from the foods that they get. They therefore require some nutritional support through some special foods which are meant to try and fill the gap of what they lack really quickly. And listen guys, it's not just humans who are bearing the brunt of the season. The PS in the Ministry of Livestock, while launching a dairy nutrition manual in Mombasa County just this week, reported that 2.5 million livestock have died over the last four seasons due to the ongoing drought. And this perhaps put to question the success of the livestock uptake program that was supposed to prevent this from happening. Now, all this while, we now know that the short rains expected this month for the October, November, December season have failed or will not be sufficient. And that is according to the Kenya Met Department. Now, the latest Met report suggests hot and dry weather conditions for this week, as I'm sure you're already experiencing, with some rainfall expected in parts of the country over the weekend. But guys, in general, the weatherman has warned that we are looking at a fifth consecutive failed rain season. And that will no doubt be devastating for millions of Kenyans already feeling the effects of drought and obviously requires some immediate support and solutions from the government. It's not looking good, sadly. That's my explainer tonight.